Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on using the app GameKit or AGK. I'm going to start off with this lesson showing you how to create a new project and how to load a sprite onto the screen. Future lessons then we'll start to build a simple 2D game. We'll just have a character running around avoiding obstacles, collecting coins, we'll put in some sound scores and we'll have an enemy chasing you around and we'll start we'll pass give three lives so that's what I'm what I aim to do today we'll start off with, with the very basics so the first thing you need to do is to install the app game kit and then once you've got it installed to, to start the program up so I'll start the app game kit up there's the uh, congratulations on, on finding the app game kit trial we've reduced the number of nags in the first 30 days so that you experience the power of the app game kit but you can continue using it after that so the first thing we need to do is uh, get used to the interface this on the left is your projects panel that's where you will navigate between the various files that we're going to be using you've got this area is where we'll do our main coding and then this area on the top is where we save compile and run our games and any errors will be shown in this bottom screen for the compile log. We can open existing projects or we can create a new project. As this is our first project, I'm going to click create a new project. I'm going to be picking an AGK generic project. We can change how our projects are displayed at a later time. So I'm going to go for a generic project and then click go. It's then going to ask me where I want to save my project. So I'm going to call it Ch Chase Game. And I'm going to say save in the root of my C drive. It'll be called a .cbp file. And that's how we'll open the file in future after we've saved it and we come back to edit it. So I'm going to click finish and it'll make the C and Chase Game folder. You see now that, that the program started off and we've got um so we got it we've got our workspace and we've got compile run it's all ready to go when i open my sources the first thing i'll need to do is set up is make my setup file the setup file is where we set our screen resolution so i'm going to change this to be 800 by 600 and we can come back to this anytime change it whenever you want and I'm gonna say I don't want it on full screen if I wanted it full screen I'd set it to one but it's on zero for off and then you, you get given the title so this could be my AGP my AGK game by room C10 and you'll notice now that everything that I've changed has got orange rather than the green this means that I can't run it or I can run it but the changes won't be taken into account so I need to save it and then compile it and once it's compiled and it's running these will turn green and it tells me it successfully worked it's complete there so that's my set of file done everything else from now on will be done in the main AGC folder so it's got a sample code running for us we're not going to use that so let's let's start the first thing that you need to do is set the virtual resolution you've got to type this in so set virtual resolution and it's going to be 800 by 600 the next thing that I like to do is to start setting up how I'm going to lay my code out and start putting things into into it into a sensible layout so that as when I come to edit my code I know where various things are so I tend to, to start off with a template and this template will start us off with the simple steps of putting images on the screen you can then follow this template as you go along and you know your, your, your program becomes segmented and you know exactly where everything lies within your code so when you're going to put an image on the screen the first thing you need to do is 
load it, load it, load images or load in images. Rem remark means that this is helpful for us as coders and it tells us what to expect but it doesn't actually run within the program. The next thing we need to do is set up our variables. So set up variables and the next thing we need to do is create sprites. So our images become sprites and the, the final thing we need to do is put sprites on the screen. Then after that we'll have our do loop. That's where the main code for the game runs. And, that, and after that I like to break my code into go subs. So my go subs will, will go below below that area. So I've split I split the code, I split my program up into how it's run. So any any images and sounds will be loaded into into this area. Variables beneath creating the sprites, putting the sprites on the screen, and then the main the main do loop where I'm gonna call the go subs that are at the bottom. So let's start coding our first game. So the first thing we need to do is load load an image. So I'm gonna do load image and as you notice when I've used the syntax correctly it becomes blue. So load image and I'll put in one and good guy dot PNG. So what have I just done there? I've decided I've de I've decided that I I'm gonna load uh, an image called goodguy.png. That's the image I'm gonna be putting onto the screen. So I'm loading that image into the game and I'm gonna for for future references it's gonna be number one. It's gonna be assigned assigned that number one. The next thing that I can that I can do is set up is set up the variables. So it's gonna be good guy equals one. So that's what it's gonna be the good guy equals one. And what I'm also going to do is decide where I'm going to put the the good guy on the screen. So I've loaded the image in. That's the PNG file that's going to be loading in. It could be a JPEG, could be a bitmap. It's going to be number one and I've assigned it there. The next thing I'm going to do is create some new variables called good guy x position. So that will be the x coordinates across the screen, across the, uh, how they go across. And it's 8 by 600, so I'll put it in the middle. So 400 across. And then good guy y pos equals 300. And if you notice, I've just realized I've made a typo there. I've done 6,000, so 800 by 600. Um, so what I've said is the variables are good guy equals 1. And the good guy's y posi uh, x position will be 400 across. The good guy's y position is 300 down. So that that will be automatically where it goes. If we don't if we don't set this position, the default is zero zero, which will be the top left hand corner of the game of the screen. So now now that we've loaded our game in, loaded our image in, given it uh, the variable. We need to create the sprite. So create sprite. You see it turns blue, so I've got the correct syntax. And we've got good guy button. So load him in. And again, everything's been laid out underneath these remarked headings. So we so our code is laid out properly. The, the final thing we would do is sometimes you need to put things in your loop. Sometimes you want to load images outside of your loop. In this particular instance, I'm going to want to put the sprites on the screen within my root, within my loop. So I'm going to go do, and I'm going to do loop, and I'm going to set the sprite position. So set the sprite position within the game. So set sprite position, and then 
we just need to, to, to use the variables that we've declared earlier on. So that would be good guy, good guy x pos and good guy y pos and we need to make sure that we keep the screen synchronized so i'll we'll put sync in all this is in orange and so i can now compile it so i've compiled it and it says it's complete if i take out the brackets there and i run sync and now i compile it you'll see it's given me an error and it says use a function call must include a set of brackets at line 23 so line 23 and there you can see i took the brackets out so aguk is quite helpful it tells me there's the last piece of code I, I edited so i'll save it and i've now saved my code and can compile it and i've got no errors so i can now run my game or run my first element of the game and we'll see how it runs so if i click run we're going to see i've got an error and it says it failed to load the image so in my chase game it's created a media folder for me and it's saying that it can't load the good guy png that i that i've declared at line eight which was when i did my load image it can't it can't find it in the media folder basically so I click OK and what I need to do is I've got a copy of the of the PNG file in question. So I'll copy that. And now if I go to the C drive and we've called it Chase Game. So let's have a look. There it is, Chase Game. And I've got a folder called Media. I haven't got any images in there. So this is where all my sound files and all my graphics files this is where they'll need to be saved in the media folder within the game so now if i go to agk um, i'll compile it again and i'll run it you'll see that i've got the the good guy declared in the middle of the screen so We've now we've now made well we're now on our way to making our first game and we've familiarized ourselves with the basic layout of AGK. What I what I would like to do is now is I'll make sure I've got a saved copy of this game and I'll show you how to open up a project once you've made one. So if you when you want to reopen your project, you go to AGK and you click open an existing project and you look for it so it's on the c drive and it's called chase game and you need to open chase game dot cvp once you do that in your sources you've got main agc and setup agc ready to be used so we can flick between the two i hope you found that tutorial useful in in this is the, the basic starting off and each from now on each lesson will be a bit shorter but i'll introduce a new element to our game as we build it up and we'll start to start to use some go subs if you've got any questions please leave leave a message on the youtube channel um, and i'll get back to you thank you very much goodbye